Hello everyone, hope you are doing good. In this tutorial, we'll be looking at one of the best CRM for business. Whether you are a small business or a large business, it will provide you with numerous tools that will help to enhance your business. Whether you are doing marketing or you want to enhance your sales support, you will find tools with Engage Bay that you can use to do that. And I will be showing you step by step how to use Engage Bay CRM. And to get started, all you need is your email address. And as you can see right here, you'll be able to add up to 15 users for free. You don't need a credit card or anything like that to sign up. In fact, if I were to tap on their pricing plan right here, by scrolling down, you can see that they offer a completely free plan, which I plan on using and you'll be able to add up to 250 contacts and you'll still be able to do email marketing you can set up autoresponders you can send out bulk emails email broadcasts you can set up different sequences and you can create landing pages you can also create chatbots and so on and you can see that their basic paid plan starts off at $12 and their pro plan goes up to $101 and you can see the different features right here. Now once you are signed up you will be redirected to a dashboard just like this. Once on this dashboard all I want you to do depending on what you want to do for example if you would like to add your contacts first so let's say for example you have a contact list that you have saved from another platform you can incorporate it on engage by by tapping on contacts then you will tap on contacts right there from the drop down menu then you could simply tap on import csv or you can migrate it from the platform that you had stored it on. If you would like to manually add it, all you'll need to do is tap on create new in the top right hand corner. Then from there, you can add the contacts first, last name, email address and other information as you can see right there. It is quite straightforward to use. Now that you have added your contacts, if you would like to create a form, all you'll need to do is tap on forms. So let's say for instance, you would like to create a pop-up form for your website. All you'll need to do is tap on create form. Then from there, you could select embedded form. Then you can see the different templates that you can use. So you can see the different forms right here. And you can also go over to the left hand menu option and you can see the different categories. So whether it is a case that you would like to create a booking, you could tap on booking and you can see the different templates. If it is a case that you would like to create an application form, you can do that. You have numerous options as you can see right here. Once you have found one that you like, all you will need to do is tap on choose. Then you will be redirected to the editor page and from here you'll be able to add your own personal touches. So for example, you can add your logo right here and you can change anything you want. As you can see the different options from the left hand menu option right here, the different content types that you can add. So for instance, if you would like to add name or so on, you can do that as you can see the different fields. And if we were to tap on grids, so let's do that real quick. You can see the different changes that you can make. Once everything is there like in, all you would need to do is tap on save in the top right hand corner. But I won't be doing that at the moment. So let's go back to the main dashboard. You can also use engage base CRM to create landing pages. All you'll need to do is tap on landing pages from the top menu option. Then you're going to tap on create landing page. Once you have done that, you can see numerous templates that you can choose from. So all you will need to do is scroll down until you find a template of your liking. So for instance, let's say I would like to use this template. You will simply tap on choose. Once you have done that, you will be redirected to the editor page. Now, once on the editor page, you can make any changes you want. So for instance, if you want to change the text, 
you can tap on the section that you want to change the text and then from there you can see properties on the right hand menu option and you can also see content so by tapping on content you can add different sections you can add text right there if you would like to add a button you can do that if you would like to add a pop-up on your website you can do that by tapping on pop-up if you would like to explore different blocks you can tap on blocks and then from there you can see the different blocks option and if we were to go over to the right hand menu option right here you can tap on the section that you would like to edit as you can see right here and by doing that you can see the different options you can change the background color if you would like to add a link you can do that if you would like to change the background image you can also do that once everything is there like in you could tap on save in the top right hand corner and then from there you will be provided with a url which you can share on social media or any platform and persons will be able to access your landing page but at the moment i won't be creating a landing page also if you would like to do email marketing you can do that you can tap on templates right there then select email templates and from here you could tap on create email template and you can see the different email templates right here that you can choose from and again by going over to the left hand menu option you can see the different categories so for example if i were to select e-commerce you can see the different templates right there so this is definitely a good platform for email marketing and what i like about engage base crm is it is beginner friendly as you can see from the start of this tutorial up until now everything is quickly accessible so the user interface is definitely a big plus so if this is going to be your first crm you won't have any problem navigating around the platform and anything that you would demand from a crm more than likely you will find it on engage bay and i do find the price quite reasonable so if you want to go onto their paid plan you can do that and i will be leaving a link in the description that you can use to sign up as i would appreciate that and if you would like to create coupons you can do that by going over to the left hand menu option you could tap on coupons and from there you can see the different coupon templates that you can use now if you would like to also go into sms marketing you can do that using this platform all you'll need to do hover over campaigns then select sms marketing and from there you could tap on create broadcast and you could input the numbers that you would like to start marketing to and you can get started if you would like to create email automations you can do that by tapping on automations but to do this you'll need to go onto their paid plan you can also create workflows as you can see right there by tapping on workflows now if we were to tap on marketing in the top left hand corner then let's say for example we were to select sales after selecting sales you can see that i'm now on the sales dashboard and from here again i can import contacts at companies you can use it to create your first deal you can also use it to create different tasks that you can send out to different team members as remember that you can add up to 13 team members for completely free so with this platform you can add free team members and you can designate different tasks to them all you'll need to do is tap on create tasks in the top right hand corner and you can do that you can also integrate different calendars by tapping on calendars and going over to the left hand menu option you could tap on add google calendar or you can add office 365 calendar if you want and you can also add google tasks if you want as you can see right there it is quite easy to integrate any one of these calendars and by hovering over the three dots right beside refer and earn you can see the different features right there if you would like to add appointments you can do that if you would like to do whatsapp marketing you can do that if you would like to create different products you could tap on products right there there are numerous 
features that you'll get access to using this platform. By tapping on sales, you can tap on service and then you'll be redirected to the service dashboard. And this is the service dashboard right there. But to do that, you'll need to go onto the paid plan also. You can also tap on live chat and you'll be redirected to the live chat dashboard as you can see right here. So to change the dashboard, all you'll need to do is go over to the left hand menu option right beside the engage bay icon you can tap on the option that you would like to use. You can use it to create a live chat by simply tapping on start a chat. Then from there, you can see right there, you don't have any chats at the moment. But if I did, I could start chats right there. If I would like to create a chat widget to add to my website, I could tap on chat widget from the top menu option. Then I could tap on enable live chat after I've done that, I could go through the settings options right here and I could embed it onto my website. Hope you found this tutorial helpful and informative. If you did, be sure to hit the like button and subscribe and thank you for watching.